Good morning. Good. What about you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, wherever they got me going, I appreciate any team that picked me up. Whoever picks me, I appreciate it because I work hard for it. I know whatever team I get on, I'm going to work hard. Yes, sir. I mean, it feels good. Like like you said, I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, not few, not too many people be able to come to the opportunity. And my family, I'm one of the first like to come to an NFL combine and go to college and get as far as I am. So it's, I'm proud. I'm, I'm proud of what I did. I'm ready to move forward and do more things. <clears throat> oh yeah, it helped me prepare me for this a lot because every week we go against a top five player no matter where he at. It can be a, a running back, a defensive back, a tight end, a kicker, or a defensive lineman. So in SEC, you're gonna have a top ten a top ten player all around the conference. So we play hard every week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was a swimmer, I played basketball. My uh my first my first thing I used to do, I usually do is swim and then before that after that I started playing basketball and then as I kept going like the age of 16 I got a ninth grade started playing football yeah so, uh, you not just need to swim, you were lifeguard. I was a lifeguard yeah I was a lifeguard um I put in a lot of work I put in a lot of work I mean at times. I couldn't play football because some stuff was going on and, and everything. My brothers didn't play. I always supported them no matter what. I was at like, every game, supported them like as in you thought I was playing. So uh, I knew my time was going to come. I worked hard. I kept God first, and everything was that. I know you're real close to your family. Yeah. Brother, yeah. Mm -hmm. mom, yeah. I love my mom. Yes, sir. Uh, when I talked to her, she was very emotional. You guys went to the national Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it means a lot. Like I said, I'm one of the first to ever do it. One of the first to ever do it. Like, um, lead an example for the next generation down the line. What to do, what the path to follow. Like I said, I got little brothers and sisters. They look up to me. So I got. It's like I got to move right. I can't do no wrong. Oh yeah, I, uh, I love swimming. I just matter of fact, swimming do give you a lot of conditioning. A lot of conditioning. You keep going back and forth, back and forth. You get tired eventually. So yeah, swimming do it a lot. <laughs> Say it again. Um, inside zone, yeah, zone, run blocking, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, my red shirt freshman year, I played right guard, so I have the whole season at right guard, so I have, yeah, I can play both. Um, I talked to Green Bay, talked to the Seahawks. I talked to a lot of teams. Green Bay, Seahawks, Arizona Cardinals. I talked to um, the Panthers, LA Rams, um, Jaguars, home team. I talked to uh, New York Giants. I talked to a lot of people. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a, it was a, it was a smooth conversation, you know, regular conversation, good conversation. Uh, Pretty much, he he said he liked me and everything, but it was just a regular conversations. Uh, one of the one of the coach, yeah, Maroon, yes sir, sir. No sir, not yet. Oh yeah, Isaiah, that's my that's my yeah that's my big brother. Yeah, I talk talk to Isaiah. Yeah, yeah, we we talk, we talk, we don't talk as much, but you know we hit each other up on Instagram. We uh, text and talk to each other every now and then. Uh, it's not really too much you have to tell me because we come from a school that we know what has to be, you know what has to be done. So we just follow by his examples, his lead, what he do, and how he move, and how he's like, how he's carrying the NFL as he's doing it very well. Any other UGA dog in the NFL? Yes, sir. Yeah. Here, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, it was a good conversation. He uh, like big offensive lineman like I am, like a run blocker, like a, a mauler like I am. So it was a good conversation. Um, what I'm looking to it for the most is, uh, let me see. Really going back home with my family and just soak, like let them soak it all in, like tell them about them, like 
I'm in Indi uh, Indianapolis. I never seen snow. I only seen snow. I only seen snow like twice. I'm like, I go outside. I wake up one morning after I brush my teeth. I go outside. I see snow falling down. Like, I see a lot of great other players around me and everything. Like, that's that's a blessing. And like, they never seen it before. Football has showed me and did a lot of things for me. None of my family have ever seen. So, like I said, I gotta go on the right right paths and right footsteps to show my family that they can do it too. What I miss most about school. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I miss my teammates. I miss like miss my little brothers. I miss them UGA dogs. I miss my little brothers. Trey Hill, uh, Tyson Campbell, Mark Webb, all them guys. I miss them. Oh, I miss Coach. Uh, what I miss most about Coach Smart, he, he pushing me. He'll push you. Like, him pushing me, like, Solomon, let's go. Like, I might be down one day. He pushed me. Like, let's get it. Let's get it. He gonna make, make sure I'm on point every time. You miss your teammates, but they're, they're all over Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's great. That's just that just describes and shows what kind of team UGA has. You feel me? That's how that's how we were brought up. How we played. Um, they got a great opportunity to come here, and I so so did I. Uh, my mom. She was not. Uh, she was a little factor in it, but most of it was on me. It, everything was my decision. What I wanted to do. I feel like I'm one of the best guards in the country. I'm a mauler. Not too many people play like me. I'm one of the. I feel like I'm one of. The, like I said, I'm one of the best guards. Not too many people do what I can do. Yes, sir. Derek Brown from Auburn Tigers. Um, I say Derek Brown, Javon Kinlaw. Both of them got the same attributes and the same type of style to play. They're very big. They don't get tired. And like some some guys, you might go to a school. This guy might be a big guy. He might can pass rush. This guy might go to another school. Go to another school. This might, guy might be big, but he can't pass rush. He can run block. Both of them got everything. They can do everything. So they they're really good players. Did you drop weight uh, after the season? And, and if so, what were you playing? Uh, this year I played like a little, I was I was a little bit heavier. My heavy weight was like 345. Right now I'm like 336. So I'm, I'm at a, that's my that's my good playing weight, my healthy like weight. Yeah, weight. Yeah, I like that weight, yes, sir. Uh, Solomon, if we're just talking past rush, who was the toughest guy? Pass rush, let me see. Uh, pass rush, let me see. Ken Law got a good bull rush. Yeah, he got a good bull rush. Uh, okay, my favorite memory of my time at Georgia, I remember my red shirt freshman year. Uh, I had got hurt in uh, fall camp, so I didn't play. That year, this year we went to the national championship. Um, I didn't play against Appalachian State because my ankle was kind of brute banged up. And if you remember, we went to Notre Dame on the away game. That's my first college game ever. So my coach wanted to see how I was going to warm up, see, how, see if I was going to be healthy enough to play. Uh, one drive, one, two drives went by. I'm on the sideline warming up and everything. I told my coach I'm looking good. So now it's about the time for me to get in the game. My coach said, Solomon, you're up. I said, <laughs> I turned around, I looked back, I'm like, uh, who you talking to, talking to me? Like, I was so nervous, like, we playing a Notre Dame, like, one of the most historical schools ever, and, like, that's my first college game ever. I'm like, I turned around, I asked him, you talking about me getting in the game? I'm like, he was like, yeah. As soon as, like, it was about to, for me to get in the game, I'm over there, I'm shaking. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm like, oh man, I'm on live TV. My family get to watch me. Everybody back home, my first college football game. I'm like, dang, I don't know what I'm gonna do out there. First play I got out there, I did what I did and everything was rich. Everything was history. Uh Jamari Saylor. Jamari Saylor and Trey Hill, because they work so hard. They work so hard. They work they like they're they're young kids, but they work so hard and they like they're leaders. Like if you go around them, they got great care. You think they're one of us? You think they could come out this year because how they how they walk, how they carry themselves? Yeah, I was surprised. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I talked to him. Yeah, he's doing. Oh, he's doing pretty good. He's doing pretty good. He holds his own.